assalamu alaikum viewers today i am going to review the g5 uh, plus model which was released in april 2017 i have been using this phone uh, as a second phone from the day it released first we will talk about the build quality of the phone the build quality of the phone is i would say quite industrial the sides are made up of aluminium as you can see this is the power button this is the volume rocker here is the sim tray which also supports uh, external storage it comes in a single sim variant and also a dual sim variant left side of the Uh, phone has nothing below there is a headphone jack 3.5 mm and a micro usb charging cable the back is made up of uh, aluminum also this is a single 12 megapixel 1.7 uh, aperture uh, lens with two LED flashlights and uh, the front of the phone is made up of Gorilla Glass 3 and a 5 megapixel primary camera and a single uh, front firing speaker mono speaker now let's talk about the OS mostly this phone has been very smooth it released with android nougat and is been has been updated to android 8.1 oreo but we are still waiting for android 9.0 on this phone the performance of this phone is quite uh, fast one thing more it comes in two variants one variant is 3 gb with 32 gb of internal memory and the second is 4 gb with 64 a gb of internal memory this is the 4 gb and 64 gb version the camera performance is quite good i would say it can record maximum the back camera can record up to maximum of 1080p with 60 frames per second while the front camera can record 1080p up to 30 frames per second the os is quite smooth the fingerprint sensor works flawlessly they ha i had no problems with it and uh, the call quality on this phone is excellent i had no problems the wifi uh, picking capacity or wifi working connection is excellent it also contains nfc on selected models like this model has sports uh, the nfc the processor used in this unit is the snapdragon qualcomm snapdragon snapdragon 625 with an adreno uh, 506 gpu uh, it has a 3000 mAh hour battery and the battery life i would say is very good it lasts throughout the day with moderate to heavy use no uh so to summarize i would say uh, the pros of this phone are it's first of all its price it is available for about 25 to 28 pkrs in pakistan the cellular reception is excellent the wifi uh, pickup signal is excellent the call quality is very good as i have told you the build quality is quite industrial it has expandable storage the back is made up of metallic back it is a metallic back camera performance is decent and uh, the front camera performance also decent the os is quite smooth the fingerprint works very well and it also has nfc in this price range the cons of this phone is that the front is made up of gorilla glass 3 Uh, which is i guess inferior 
2T latest Gorilla, Gorilla Glass 4 and uh, also the main phone of this phone is that it cannot record 4K videos uh, due to the processor limitations um, other than that uh, I don't have any phones uh, with regards to this phone at this price point I would say this is the very good option for the viewers and uh, I highly recommend this everything works smooth uh, and it's the still not have received the Android 9.0 uh, our update I, and I don't know whether I will receive it another pros of this feature is the gestures the chop chop gesture to turn out the uh, backlight the flip book to silent the phone that's a great feature and some other Moto, motorola features like active display which is a copy of smart display or a smart stay of samsung that's it this is a great budget option for a phone I highly recommend it for, for future videos please comment and subscribe to my channel hope for your support thank you